Is gender diversity still an issue for you? We start off at the base of the pyramid with 45% of our population being women. Um, that's a good percentage. That's a very good percentage. So that's a great starting point. But as we move up to the more senior levels, at the mid level it drops down to 25%, which you know I've, I've looked at global standards is not bad. Where it becomes a problem is as you go from the 25% at the mid level to senior levels and it drops down to 15%. We've struggled at trying to find a way to move that 15% a lot. And we've done a bunch of things and I think our environment when we talk to our people they tell us that it's actually one of the best environments to have flexibility, meritocracy, inclusiveness, and so on and so forth. Um, and yet, you know, at various points in their career, they drop off. Partly driven by the nature of the industry, it's a hard charging, high travel. I mean, it's not that different from consulting. And then you overlay that with, in, in many of the delivery centers, operations sometimes does 24 by seven. You got to deal with clients across the globe. So a bunch of those things. Having said that, I don't think it's an excuse. Um, so I think it's a question of time before you'll find uh, a breakthrough group that'll break through. I can already see that just one level below the senior level and another three to five years and I think it'll be, my, my goal is one third of the team at the senior level should be gender diverse. Because I think the conversations in those meetings are different. The perspectives are different. I see that every time when, I, when that happens. What has been a revelation for me is that it's a problem that is more globally spread than I thought it was. I thought this was much more of a developing country phenomena, and the developed countries are f much further ahead. They're not. They're not. For various other reasons, the ceiling is there.